Okay, so here's another video. This time we're going to look at some angles and circle theorem questions. Uh, as before in this series, we're looking at past paper questions from IGCSE Cambridge 0580 and IGCSE Cambridge 0607 uh, paper 4s. So here we go, circle theorems. Um, okay, number two, circle theorems. Um, okay, this is the first example. So it says... Uh, gives us uh, a picture, and we need to find the angle BED. So there we go, BED. We also have to give a reason uh, for whatever uh, circle theorem we're using. Uh, so, okay, so the first one, um, let me join up the points. Uh, if you join them up like this, hopefully you can see that this is one of the circle theorems where you have uh, angles in the same segment. Okay, it looks like the butterfly, we can't actually call it the butterfly. So therefore, if this is 37, this is also 37. That's the first one. Um, next one we want B, O, D. Okay, so that's that to that to that one. Okay, now this is a little bit more tricky. Uh, they kind of like this one because ideally it should look something like this. It's kind of like the, the arrow shape and angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. This is a proper, proper definition for this one. But you might have just learnt it in terms of this arrow shape here, where this angle at the centre is twice as big as the angle at the inside bit here. Now, at first glance, what we've given doesn't, doesn't actually look the same as, as this situation here. But imagine if you move this point A and kind of slid it around till it got to this point here. Well, then hopefully you can see that actually you would end up with the same shape here. What you've got is from the centre to the edge and to the edge, and then joining up to a new point somewhere else on the circumference, which is the same here. So from the centre to the edge and to the edge, and then joined up to another point on the circumference. So there we go. If this is 37, this is twice as big as so this is 74. Okay, next one. B, C, D. So there we go, B to C to D. Okay, well this time we have, it's a cyclic quadrilateral, so it's a bit harder to see this one, but if we draw the lines like this, hopefully we can see. Now cyclic quadrilateral, all the points have to be on the edge, otherwise it's not a cyclic quadrilateral. And here we go, we can see that those are four points on the edge. The cyclic quadrilaterals, angles opposite each other add up to 180. Therefore, if this is 37, this must be 143. Okay, next one. Um, here's another sketch. Uh, we want C O D. So there we go, C O D. Now, we've been given a tangent. Uh, whenever we've got a tangent and a line from the center, then we know that this angle here is going to be 90 degrees. So that's what we're going to do first. We know that this, this angle here is 90, but we know that this is 55. Therefore, this angle here inside the triangle must be 35 degrees. I then say, well, if this is 35 degrees, this angle here must also be 35 degrees, because it's an isosceles triangle from the center to the edge, from the center to the edge, so they're the same. So if this angle is 35, this angle here is also 35, and if this angle is 35 and this is 35, then I can find this angle just by doing 180, take away 35, take away 35, so therefore this is 110. Okay, next one. Uh, ask us for DAC. Now, DAC is that one there. Okay, so let's do a little sketch. Uh, well, you can just as before, hopefully see that what we've got is that same kind of arrow shape as before. Angle at the center, being twice the angle at the edge. Uh, here we go. We can see that there's my arrow shape. This was 110 from the previous question. Therefore, this is half as big. Therefore, that must be 55. And there we go. Okay. And then the last one, ABC. ABC. So I want this angle here. Okay. Well, I've just drawn it in already. We have a cyclic quadrilateral, same as before. So I already know that this is 35. I know that this is 40. Therefore, I know that this angle here is 75. Therefore, this angle must add up to 180, therefore it must be 105. 
Okay, so there we go, a few quick questions all about uh, circle theorems.